IFT in Las Vegas, and I'm here with Bill, Bill Morkops, who's the general manager of uh, Blue Diamonds and um, Greens Division. Um, Bill, can you um, can you tell me a little bit about what some of the um, changes are taking place at Blue Diamonds? Absolutely, we're uh, real excited to announce that uh, we have repositioned our industrial division as Blue Diamonds Global Ingredients Division. Mm -hmm. We think the, the name fits our uh, purpose and our value proposition to customers much better. Global, clearly, we uh, export to 90 countries around the world, and ingredients is really a focus as far as working with uh, the leading consumer packaged goods companies worldwide. And what's, um, what will be the, the structural changes, right? or will there be any real changes in effect after the, the renaming? Yes, uh, the very much uh, real change. So the renaming is. Um, drives that message home both internally and to our customers to increase that focus. Part of what we've been doing is uh, spinning up that focus over the last two years. We've grown our ingredients business by 50% in the last two years alone. So, so very significant changes. In addition to that, we're investing as a company in new manufacturing facilities. Um, we're adding a facility in Turlock, California that will um, expand our blanching, slicing mm -hmm. capabilities and uh, it's on a 90-acre facility that will allow us to expand as we grow into the future. Um, it will bring us uh, right up to the forefront in uh, food safety, which is a specialty of ours uh, as we work with consumer packaged goods companies. What's uh, driving that significant growth in almonds as an ingredient that you mentioned? Part of that is a, uh, a trend worldwide for uh, consumers to look for more more healthy foods uh, as you look as you watch demographics and a change in demographics in uh, America in Europe in Asia and you watch populations grow older they become more conscious of eating healthy foods almonds uh, the supply of almonds has gone up uh, tw double in the last 10 years and so has the uh, global consumption of almonds and you also recently opened a new innovation center. What? Uh, how can you innovate with almonds, and where's where's the room for uh, R and D? So we're planning we're planning the investment in a new innovation center, and, and where where we uh, leverage that in the ingredient side is different forms, different uh, different flavors, and different applications. And so we're constantly seeking for applications that a, uh, a consumer packaged goods company might find as a value add to their product. Could you give some examples of what uh, what you might do? Certainly, uh, one of the most popular is uh, you take natural sliced almonds, uh, put various flavored coatings on them, and you make an excellent addition in cereals. In um, you know different forms, so you can reach different price points. You can reach uh, different uh, textures for applic different applications by using different forms of almonds, and and we offer the widest uh, widest product line of any producer of almonds in the world. So thank you very much.